Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm going to be sharing with you the Lush Cosmetics Easter 2021 range. I have bought all 11 products in the range to share with you today. Some of them are returning products, some of them are new products, so we're going to talk about that as well. We're going to talk about the scent of the products and my first impressions of them. And yeah, just going to have a nice chill unboxing and show you all the goodies that I got. So as you can probably tell, I'm in my signature black robe. If you are new to my channel, you'll find that most of my videos are filmed in a dressing gown slash robe type thing. I'm very, very chill on this channel. Um, I went for a workout not very long ago um, and I just had a really, really quick shower. So um, I wanted to get this filmed and out for you as soon as possible. So I didn't want to waste time putting on tons of clothing and all that sort of thing but I'll do that after this video uh, but yeah I'm just very chilled at the moment feeling chilled um, so yeah hopefully you like this video and hopefully you find this helpful for your own purchasing decisions or you might find this just relaxing which is also great okay so I'm gonna go with the first product that I can see uh, this is a lip scrub it is the funfetti cake lip scrub this is a brand new product we've never had this one before this is meant to be vanilla buttercream scented. So I've never had the vanilla buttercream scent before, I don't believe. Um, so if you do remember the vanilla buttercream, uh, that's apparently what it's meant to smell like from all the information that I have found. So uh, this has got, uh, in terms of scent ingredients, it's got Sicilian lemon oil and vanilla absolute. So... In terms of scent, it sounds quite similar to also the super milk uh, conditioning hair spray thing that they brought out recently in the Afro hair care products range. So I'm just going to see what it smells like. I don't think it'll smell exactly like that. I think there'll be a cake sort of smell to it as well. Oh, okay. This doesn't smell, this smells a lot like Snow Fairy actually. Smells very similar to the bubblegum lip scrub, but it's got, it's, it's, okay. It's sort of like if Snow Fairy was a cake. I hope that makes sense. Because it's quite, it's very, very strongly sweet. It's very strong. So if you don't like strong smells, you're not going to like this. Um, yeah, it smells like a Snow Fairy cake, basically. Um, I love the little sprinkles in it though. It literally has sprinkles like a Funfetti cake would. I quite like this. It wasn't what I was expecting. I was definitely expecting something a little bit more vanilla-y, but it doesn't really smell vanilla-y. It smells more bubblegum-ish. So hmm. I would love to see like a true vanilla lip scrub from Lush one day. Hopefully one of these days, maybe as a limited edition or an all-year-round product. We'll have to wait and see. So I'm going to go into the soaps next, I think. Yeah, let's get the soaps out of the way. Oh, a few things were sticking to this one. So this is the Muddy Carrots Soap. So let me get my little sheet here. So this is the same scent as the carrot shower oil that they did. I think it might have been Easter 2019, 2018, something like that. Um, I didn't pick it up at that time, but I kind of wish I did. But yeah, that's what this one looks like. So this actually has some Rasool Mud and it has kaolin in it. So it is sort of like a mud based soap. That's what why it's called muddy carrots it's sort of got a um yeah it's sort of yeah cl clay and all that sort of thing it just sort of cleanses the skin really well uh and it also has carrot infusion fresh carrot infusion grapefruit oil sandalwood oil geranium oil okay wow oh that smells familiar that smells like something else as well um what does this smell like this definitely smells like something else that I've smelt in Lush's range. Um, so if you know of any other sort of, in, um, not ingredients, any other products in that sort of same scent family, please let me know. Um, I'm sure I've smelt a perfume or a shower gel or something that smells like this. I'm sure of it. Um, it's okay. So I should start describing it really. Um, so it's got a sort of floral smell to it. Um, and the grapefruit and all those sorts of things really come through as well. Um, yeah, the geranium is actually quite strong in this. I wasn't expecting that because the geranium usually plays like a background note. So it's quite floral. It's also got a sweet, like a little bit of a sweetness to it, but not much. Um, quite fresh as well. It's definitely not the scent that you think of when you look at this, but 
I'm not mad at it. I quite like it. It's very clean smelling, which is great for a soap. I love that smell. I think that is a nice smell. I think that's a very inoffensive, you know, nice smell. I like it. I like it. Okay, the next one I've got, oh, and by the way, that Muddy Carrots is a brand new product, but this one is a returning product. This seems to be one that sort of comes back most years. It's come back in the last few years, I would say. And this is the Avo Good Easter Soap. So it does have another half to it. <laughs> there we go. So it's it's uh, it's literally looks like an avocado. It's got the little bumps on the back of it as well. So this is avocado co-wash scented. Um, so for those of you who are not familiar with avocado co-wash, it has olibanum oil, bergamot oil, lit say cubeva oil, which is sort of like a lemony smell. Um, there's also organic avocado oil, but I don't think that affects the scent too much. Yeah, it smells exactly like that. So it, yeah. So once again, if you're not sort of familiar with that, it is quite a citrusy scent. It's quite refreshing. There is a little bit of sort of like a soapiness to it as well, but it, it is, it's a crowd pleaser. It's a very, very pleasant scent. Once again, similar to Muddy Carrots, it's a very pleasant scent. Most people enjoy it. If you enjoy citrus to any sort of degree, you will enjoy this product. Um, so yeah, same scent as the Avocado Co-Wash sort of shampoo, conditioner, two-in-one product, the solid product in the Afro hair care range. And also if you've ever had the Avocado Wash uh, which has been released, you know, a few times, you know, over the last few years, you know, I think the last time was maybe 2019. Um, so if you've ever had the avocado wash, it's the same scent as that. So yeah, I quite like it. There's a nice sort of strength of scent with that as well. So yeah, quite happy with it. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to get on to the body. It says body scrub. Hmm. I don't know if this is going to be super scrubby, but um, I can see like little scrubby pieces on the bottom but oh there we go so this is called the walter bunny uh body scrub um yeah there are some little scrubby pieces on the bottom not sure if you can see it in between all the sort of gold and everything hmm lovely smell i'm just going to pop it down because it is sort of melting in my hands uh so this one has cocoa powder vanilla absolute mimosa absolute and Cocoa Absolute, I was about to say Ninosa. I don't know what that is, but Mimosa, I know what that is. <laughs> so um, according to sources online, it is after the Chalky Egg uh, scent family at Lush. I'm not really sure what the Chalky Egg scent family is exactly. I believe there was a product called Chalky Egg a few years ago, but once again, I a little bit before my time with Lush. But um, what I can say just from smelling that is that it definitely has a beautiful chocolate smell to it, but it has a nice sweetness to it as well. There's definitely sort of a vanilla smell going on with it as well. Um, yeah, I don't really notice the mimosa or anything else. It's sort of like, um, it, it's a little bit richer in scent than Butterball, if you're familiar with Butterball, how that's got a little bit of a chocolatey vanilla thing. So basically the best way I would describe it is uh, the Walter Bunny here is more chocolate than vanilla and the uh, Butterball scent is more vanilla than chocolate. If you've if you're familiar with the Butterball Bath Bomb or any of those products in their range uh, that have the Butterball scent or have had the Butterball scent, uh, that's pretty much what you're looking at. So if you like Butterball but you sort of wish it was a bit more chocolatey, that's kind of what Walter Bunny is like. So yeah, I'm going to be interested to try it out. It seems like it's got quite a fine sort of scrub to it, which is quite nice. Uh, quite similar to Buffy, just from feeling it. So We'll see how we go. I'll definitely do reviews on all of these as soon as I can, as well as comparisons and things like that. So stay tuned for that if that's your thing. Okay, what else have we got? Okay, we'll do the one bubble bath that they've got. There's a lot of bath bombs and things in this range. Uh, so the one bubble bar is the Singing Daffodil. Now this is Santa's Grotto scented. So Santa's Grotto is a sort of famous Christmas scent family at Lush. They did a Santa's Grotto bath bomb a couple of years ago um, and it just smelled so, so beautiful. It was really, really nice. Um, so this one here, very, very pretty as well, by the way. So this is a reusable bubble bar by the looks of it. It's quite solid. Um, yeah, I think it's a reusable one. Um, it's got Everlasting Flower Absolute, Lang Lang Oil, Tegete's Oil, and that's about it. There's not a lot of scent ingredients. Now, it does sound familiar to something from Christmas last year as well. So let me have a think. Oh, 
Yeah, it does smell like Santa's Grotto. Hmm. Okay, so this is quite a strong floral scent. There's definitely a little bit of a mintiness to this, and I'm not sure if it's just because it's been stored with, with other products, but... Hang on a minute. No, that's just the strength of the scent. It's not minty. It's just really strong and it's just hitting my nose in a strange way. Okay, well, it's just a really strong floral scent in my summations. Um, yeah, just Lang Lang. Very strong Lang Lang is what I get from this. Um, it smells like there's definitely like that everlasting flower absolute, which I'm not really sure what that smells like in theory, but it smells like there's something else there, but it does smell very white floral and like Lang Lang. So if you are a floral person and you like Lang Lang and that sort of thing, I think you will like this one. And yeah, very pretty design. I think this one will sell really well. Yeah, because it's got that sort of scent that most people really enjoy. Florals, you know, they always sell. Okay, uh, now... In terms of those products, the Walter Bunny and the Singing Daffodil, I forgot to tell you, I believe they're both new products. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Cool. Um, let's go on to this one that's just sitting right there staring me in the face. So this one is called Eggy Wegg, and these are all bath bombs now. So I've got six bath bombs to share with you. This one is Aurora Borealis Scented, or from that scent family, if you're familiar with that scent family. And this has Sicilian lemon oil, spearmint oil, and that's about it. Ah, I think that mint, because I've just been storing it next to that one um, whilst doing photos, I think the mint sort of transferred onto that. So I do apologize. Yeah. Okay, that does smell like it sounds. So it's got quite a citrusy smell and it's quite pepperminty as well. So it's quite a um, clean smell. Yeah, it smells very clean. And not what you would expect from a bath bomb that looks like this, if that makes sense. Hmm. Yeah, I really like this. Hmm. They're all smelling really nice so far. I really am enjoying these scents. But yeah, that's that's a nice one. I like that. Next one I can see that's closest to me <laughs> is the Follow the White Rabbit bath bomb. Now, I'm not sure if this design is completely new. I know that this is modelled after the snowman from Christmas last year and that it's sort of returned over a few years. Um, it's got pretty much the same sort of design, the same sort of colourings uh, with the white and then the sort of striped colourings there as well. Usually makes sort of like a lilac-y coloured water. Um, that's what I got with the snowman and it smells exactly like the snowman. Um, so it's sort of described as being in the snowman scent family. So um, I'm not quite sure what the scent family is exactly but we're going to read some of the ingredients it's got bushu oil lemon oil and bergamot oil mm, so quite simple profile but it does smell really really good mm. so it's quite citrusy in scent there's almost a little bit of a sherbety almost a little bit of a sherbety smell um but very clean smelling as well really clean in scent i love it Excuse the plane flying over. That's what happens when you film in the middle of the day. Oh, I really, really enjoy this one. And I re remember really enjoying the Snowman one last year as well, which was my first time trying it. So, yeah, very excited about that one as well. Okay, what am I going to do next? Oh, okay, yeah, let's go for this one. So this is the new and improved Humpty Dumpty. Um, and also Eggy Wig, I believe, is a new bath bomb. Uh, and follow the right rabbit. Yeah, like I said, I believe it's new, but someone correct me if I'm wrong. So here's Humpty Dumpty. Now, this has got a little surprise inside it. I'm not going to spoil it for those of you who might want to see it for yourself, but there is something inside here that is a nice little surprise for you if you do decide to get this one. Now, this bath bomb is Honey I Wash the Kids Scented. I believe it was Honey I Wash the Kids Scented last time they had it, which was around 2016 from what I've been told. Um, so Honey I Wash the Kids has Brazilian orange oil and bergamot oil in it. But the easiest way for me to describe it to you is it smells like honey, like, you know, like a jar of honey, um, and that you're walking through a field of meadow, you know, like a meadow field, that's the right word, yes, um, and you're eating an orange at the same time. That's the best way I can describe it to you in terms of scent. It is it's beautiful. It's one of my top five sort of all year round scent families because there are a lot of Honey I Wash the Kids scented products in Lush's all year round lineup as well. 
Um, and yeah, I am really, really excited to try this out and see how that little surprise inside um, sort of does its thing. Now, I'm not sure if, now I'm actually genuinely not sure if it's another bath bomb or if it's like something else. I know what the design of it is, but I just don't know what's in there. So you're going to have to watch my little review and my demo on it to find out if you want to find out. Okay, I'm going to pop that one back. Oh, and the one next to it is also even more fragile. Uh, this is very, very cute. And I have to give props to uh, Ines. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Ines is one of the packers and the warehouse people at Lush Australia. And she's packed a lot of my orders. And Ines always does a fantastic job packing. And I never, ever, ever have broken products when she does the packing. And she put so much effort into preserving the owl and the pussycat for me um, in the... Uh, yeah, in the uh, box of stuff that I ordered. So thank you, Ines. I really appreciate that. So this is what it looks like. These pieces are actually removable. So obviously there's the pussycat, there's the owl. And there's also this as well, the little boat that you can obviously use. So the premise behind this is you could actually use this as three separate baths. Uh, Lush has said that this is also ideal for children because these ones are smaller bath bombs and also a good way to sort of introduce your children to something um, in terms of the bath world and things like that. Now, this one is actually snow fairy scented, which is something I mentioned at the start of the video when I was talking about the lip scrub. Uh, snow fairy is generally, once again, a Christmas scent family. So they are sort of bringing a few normally Christmas things uh, in terms of scent uh, into the other limited edition ranges, which is quite cool. Um, and Snow Fairy is a bit of, it's one of those things like you either love it, you either love it or you hate it. I can't speak today. Um, so it's very sweet. It's bubble gummish. It's sort of like that fairy floss, candy floss kind of smell. Um, you know, the sort of smell that 13, 14 year old girls tend to like. <laughs> But I'm a 26-year-old and I do enjoy Snow Fairy. Uh, look, it's not my absolute favourite scent family, but I do enjoy it. And there's definitely a place for it in my collection. And it's one of those ones I do reach for every now and again, especially, you know, the shower gel and stuff like that. So it's one of those ones. I, I'm one of those people. I do like Snow Fairy. So, yeah. So this one, in terms of scent ingredients, probably won't have a lot in here. No, there's no actual distinct scent ingredients except for synthetic musk. Um, so... Normally, the Snow Fairy scent is just described as perfume. There's no real sort of essential oils or things like that uh, with it. It sometimes has Persian lime oil as well in it. You may notice that on the back of some of your Snow Fairy products uh, and also synthetic musk as well. So, yeah, it's kind of got like a, a musky kind of smell. If you've ever tried musk sticks, if you're an Australian or a New Zealander, you'll know what musk sticks are. They're a type of candy, a type of lolly, a type of sweet um, that we have in a lot of our milk bars or shops. Um, yeah, it's kind of that sort of smell. Hmm. Kind of takes you back to childhood a little bit. Um, it, it's quite a fun one. Okay, so I've got two more to go. This is going pretty well. I'm going through it pretty quickly, which is quite surprising. So the second last one, the penultimate one I have for you, is the Flamingo Egg. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this is new or not. Uh, Owl and the Pussycat, I think that that one's new. I believe this one's new as well, but obviously correct me if I'm wrong in the comments section. And yeah, Humpty Dumpty just had the glow up. So he, he, he looks a little bit different, but there you go. So that's what it looks like in the front. Uh, so beautiful sort of the geode kind of uh, crystal style. And then the back has got a beautiful color to it as well beautiful scent now this is actually scented after the elfie stick bubble bar which was released um, for christmas 2020 it was a brand new product for christmas 2020 and from what i can tell they hadn't had any products uh, with this particular scent family before so this is sort of a newer scent family uh, in lush's range um, now this in terms of scent ingredients it's got labdomen resinoid sicilian lemon oil vetivert oil so that's pretty, pretty nice scent ingredients, if you ask me. Now, in my personal opinion, this is a lot sweeter than the Elfie Stick Bubble Bar. Um, it's got, it's not as green smelling. There was a little bit of like a green element to Elfie Stick. Like I felt like there was a little bit of a, like a naturistic kind of feel to it. This one is very sweet, 
there is a floral side to this. I can definitely smell that sort of floral vibe. Um, yeah, the labdamum, yeah, vetiver, yeah, I get. And then there is a freshness. So I'm guessing the freshness is from the lemon. Can't really pick lemon out, so to speak. There's definitely like a citrus thing here. This is a really interesting scent, and I think this might be my favourite out of all of them. So, yeah, this would be my top pick because it's quite strongly scented, which I love the strongly scented bath bombs as well. Yeah, I think this is my favourite in terms of design and the smell. I think this is my favourite. So, last one. Now, this one is a returning product. I'm looking at the size of it and I'm wondering if this has gone down in size a little bit or if it's the same size. Now, this is technically a bath melt, but it is basically a bath bomb that's quite a moisturizing bath bomb. That's the easiest way I can describe it to you. And it does have a bit of a foaming effect when you use it. I have seen it used before. I've just never bought one for myself. So this one is the golden egg. Now, it does just look smaller than what I remember it looking like. Um when I visited in store and stuff like that. So I'm really not sure. This is also from the Honey I Wash the Kids scent family. Um, it's been that way for the years that they've had it really. It's never sort of changed in scent. It's the same scent as the Humpty Dumpty uh, bath bomb. Uh, yeah, so this one is a lot less strong in scent um, just from me smelling it, but I believe that the bath melts, they tend to sort of the smell sort of comes out once it melts a bit more. So it'll be interesting to see what that's all about. Uh, but yes, once again, the Brazilian orange oil and the bergamot oil. So same sort of profile. Um, be really careful when you handle these ones because the glitter is just going to come off. I mean, it's already <laughs> it's already coming off on my fingers. Um, I am going to put this robe in the wash very soon anyway. But um, just be careful if you are going to handle that one and um, put that away in your collection. But once again, Ines definitely was wrapping these beautifully. This was the golden egg was actually wrapped in some grease proof paper um, as well as the bag, uh, the, the paper bag. So that was greatly appreciated and it definitely preserved um, the products here as well. So thank you so, so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate all the support I get on this channel. Uh, please stay tuned for the reviews of these Easter products. I should have them all out by the end of the week. Fingers crossed. Um, in case something really crazy happens. I hope nothing crazy happens, but I should have them out by Sunday, um, all of them. So if you can wait that long, if you are interested in hearing my thoughts, um, I would encourage you to, but, you know, go ahead and buy them if you want. I'm not going to stop you. Uh, but yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming to this video today and spending a little bit of your day with me. It makes, it just makes me feel so good um, knowing that you guys enjoy my content and, you want to see more of it so if that sounds like your thing and lush sort of reviews and unboxings and all those sorts of things i do encourage you to stick around and consider clicking the subscribe button as well um yeah and that's about it so take care for now hope to see you again real soon and have a wonderful rest of your day bye for now